70 inch board. Here, here. The way I cut these was this is a 12 inch, 12 inch, 12 inch, 12 inch. So take that piece, rotate it, you'd have one of these sides. Take that piece, you'd have one of the other sides. Next thing is this shelf and this shelf need to be exactly the same width. So from there to there, it's 22 inches or 21 and 7 eighths. So those are the top and the bottom. If I had just bought like a 9.5 inch board or a 9 inch board, this is how I just would have done it. And really, I made mine like two inches, which is close enough for that. So it's 22 inches by two inches. It's good enough for me. The data over here I have is 3 eighths, which means the matching data is also 3 eighths. That adds up to 3 fourths. My boards are 22 inches wide, which means this one to fit into these dados will look clean need to be 22 and 3 fourths inches. So I know that that one's 22, we'll just give it a little more room. And there's my boards. Middle, top, bottom, left, So everything I did, I did with hand tools. Marked it out, rip sawing it down. Uh, hand jointed it. Checking for true. Used a marking knife and a accurate combination square to make sure all my lines, were gonna, all my pieces were gonna be as close to straight as I could make them. Sides rip sawn off. I used the shooting board to clean all my edges up as well as size all the corresponding pieces, such as the top and the bottom and the four end pieces. process of using the hand planes to flatten the surfaces and flatten the boards. Used a cabinet scraper, Stanley 80, and I used a card scraper to help. I did all the stuff dados by hand, which is all this tapping, tapping down and cleaning out, tapping down and cleaning out. the board itself wedged into the side that I cut to mark the top edge of the dado. And I used the Stanley router plane to get the depth correct and have a clean cut at the bottom. And test fit. Coping sawing out the arch for the foot. Used a car scraper and rasps to clean it up. I went through pretty much the same process for the top layer. Yeah, I used a marking knife to mark the hinges. I did use a router plane to clean out those hinges so that they were to the correct depth. Usually you don't do this with a router plane, but I was trying to be as accurate as I possibly could be. These are the side pieces. I made these to house most of the actual barrel of the hinge. And I did the 
um, mortises for the top and bottom shelves. They actually were a millimeter shorter because that is the thickness of the plates that is embedded into the sides. Sizing up the uh, center shelf, I cleaned it up with the shooting board and got it to fit. Marking the steps for the stop dado so that the front edge would meet up cleanly. I'm not sure where it cut out on me, but because I did a stop dado, step on the shelf, both sides. Dinner is cooking, got 20 minutes. This has been sitting out here for two hours. I just cleaned the glue off of it. You can see it's a good bit wobbly, but made all those side mortises for the top and bottom shelves deeper and that took all that play out. It has one coat of shellac on it. I let that dry, sanded it down, put paste wax on it, buffed that out. And then reassembled the whole thing. Thanks going out to all three of you, but especially to my dad who got me.